moving on away from the wide receivers, let's let's talk this backfield because Melvin Gordon was resigned. Javante is everyone's golden child out there, and he looked incredible last year. Let's be honest. Do we basically see a 50-50 split like we did this last season between the two backs, or do you really see Javante taking over this backfield? I have a hard time seeing Javante take it over. I don't think they would have brought Melvin Gordon back if they thought they wanted Javante Williams to take it over. I love Javante Williams. We also know Hackett's very good at working a two running back system. I think we're going to see something very similar to what we saw with Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon last season. Javante Williams being more of the AJ Dillon type back. I think he'll get more volume than AJ Dillon did, but not by much. And I think that's kind of what we're looking at in Denver. It's, it's hard to be at their ADP. It's hard to be excited about either one of these running backs. Really? I think. Mm-hmm. Any, any, uh, Additional thoughts from John or Dan? I just would like, I think that what we're seeing in the NFL is a huge amount of emphasis put on true like committee backfields. They don't want to have a guy because that leads to more injuries. Saquon Barkley was the guy. He's been nothing but dealing with injuries. Dalvin Cook dealing with injuries. I think that they're trying to go away from that for the most part, but I do think that they're going to want to give maybe more of a 60-40 because I think at the very least that even though Melvin Gordon was probably the more efficient runner at times, Javante is better, is a much better back than Melvin Gordon is at this point. He's more explosive. He can break a little bit more tackles in the open field. So I would say 60-40, but there's a reason that Melvin Gordon's back in town is to help keep those tread that tire, those tires on him a bit longer so they can really run him down a few years from now. Mm-hmm. John, any additional thoughts? Yeah, I mean, he nailed it. Uh, kind of exactly my my thought process there is they're going to give Javante more because you want to utilize the draft capital uh, there. So they, they are going to get him more involved this year. But I think the idea of the committee preservation approach is what they're trying to do. They're Like he said, they're trying to keep the tread on the tires a little bit longer. So I'm I'm definitely in that camp. I would love to see Javante just take over. And uh, if, if something happens and Melvin Gordon has to sit for a minute, Javante will be the dude. Mm -hmm. Jake, I didn't throw the last question to you with the wide receivers. So oh God, I, I know waiting for it, but whatever. Just been over here stewing in my thoughts. <laughs> I do. I do think it's interesting. For two things. I, I'm going to, I'm going to hit both of these at once. One is, Jerry Judy, of course, uh, hoping that there's no legal troubles or no suspension for his arrest that happened. It kind of seems like probably not. Uh, but I do love Cortland Sutton. So that's five for five on Cortland Sutton. I want the guy mm -hmm. who's not really as much over the middle. Uh, I want the outside the numbers running contestant catches guy. I, I want them and with the red zone uh, targets as well. With Melvin, at least he signed late. He re-signed with Denver very late in the game. So I feel like they wanted maybe to move on and just ultimately couldn't make it work. But I do think that Javante has a lot more volume this year. I would put him in the 70 to 30 range. I think Melvin starts to take a backseat. 